Yo, 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 what's up with it, y'all? How y'all doing today? Energy minus Mike back at it again. If you guys are watching the video, come on right here. 1,000 likes on this video, you can get a free game pass on the game. And it doesn't even have to be Sword Fighting Simulator. It could be any game. All-Star Tower Defense. It could be Anime Evolution Simulator. It all starts with you guys getting 1,000 likes. So make sure you like the video and comment down below. And watch the video, guys, to the very end. Sometimes I include code words in the video where you can get a free game pass. Just make sure you listen for it. Basically, for the video, though, we are back on anime. Fighters 3, yes, that's right, as I like to call it. I know some people in the comments are like, F-Modest, this is not Anime Fighters 3. I'm calling it Anime Fighters 3. Until we do about 10 or 20 videos, this is Sword Fighter Simulator. It plays like Anime Fighters and Anime Evolution Simulator. Game link in the description of the video. Highly recommend you guys try this game. It is pretty fun. For this banger though, F-Modest wanted to talk about all of the secrets in this game now if i end up missing any of the secrets make sure you guys let me know in the comments some of these secrets might help you guys get extra power free raid tickets free auto clicker probably in the title it says free auto clicker so if you need any of these tips you guys haven't played the game before or if you're still a newbie make sure you watch to the very end first thing that we can talk about though are the free raid tickets now you guys know raid mode just like in anime fighters you'll have enemies you can go ahead and defeat them and when you defeat them and you beat raid mode you guys will get some of these shards they're called arcane shards and you can use them to reroll passives or enchantments on your weapon and your weapon can have two enchantments and stuff like that huge one mighty two or it can have one it's very important if you're free to play to do the raids now the only way to do raids is if you have a raid ticket and raids i don't know how often they are maybe once every 30 minutes maybe once an hour i'm not sure let me know in the comments but if you want free raid tickets all you have to do is go to map two four and six if you guys are just starting out in the game first map would be dark forest second map skull cove skull cove has a free raid ticket and then third map demon hill polar tundra is map four that has a free raid ticket as well and then the sixth map in the game underworld has a free raid ticket so let's go ahead and claim them starting with skull cove if you want the free raid ticket in the pirate map over here when you spawn in just go right you will find a pirate ship and you got to do a little obstacle course jump on the barrels jump on the log and if you end up falling you got to redo it but once you get to the very end there's like a little claim button a little circle that says free raid ticket and it says ready and you can claim this i believe every six hours you just hover over it you'll get a free raid ticket you can't redeem it yet. I guess you can get four raid tickets a day. And if each raid gives you about 18 arcane shards, you're basically getting 200 free rerolls. Every reroll is about 50 Robux. So that just puts in this per like perspective that you guys, whenever you're in this game, do the dailies. Just at least claim the raid tickets. Now map number four is in the Polar Tundra map. Let's just go over here and let's go claim that raid ticket. Now where's the raid ticket here? When you spawn in the map, just go straight a little bit where the ice bridge is and then you guys will see it on the left side. So like I said, you go across the ice bridge and then on the left side next to the raid portal and then going towards the back of the map, you're going to see this long log jump on the ice barrels jump on the boat and then jump on the piece of ice eventually you'll get to the very back of the map remember this is map number four and there is the free raid ticket i'm just gonna go ahead and claim it oh we also got a 2x damage boost well there i didn't even know that <laughs> i had never claimed this before so if you guys want the free damage boost in the game and i believe that's like the only way you guys can get damage boost in the game i think besides buying it i think you can't even buy it no you can't even buy it so there you guys go get the free raid ticket that is map number four towards the back of the map the last place to get the free raid ticket is underworld let's go claim that right now and that's pretty op in underworld all you got to do is go towards the back of the map and it's going to be on the left side you're going to find some rocks and like a giant chain going in the lava jump on the rocks and then once you guys jump on the rocks you gotta double tap you can double jump in this game go on the log and then you'll find your free raid ticket once every six hours i don't know if you're gonna get anything extra it doesn't look like you do i guess polar tundra is the best you get a free damage boost that's how you guys can get free raid tickets a a day and then also whenever you guys do raid mode you can claim another free raid ticket 
Make sure you guys do the raids though. They're pretty important, especially if you guys want to re-roll your enchants as a free to play player the next secret though that i want to talk about are the free pet equips in index now there's actually only one free pet emulator x the more pets you collect the more rewards you can get currently my reward right now for tier 4 is plus 25 pet storage however i believe tier 2 or tier 3 or even tier 1 i forgot which one it is but it's like the first one that you do you collect like 5 maybe 10 pets maybe 15 pets and you guys can get a free extra pet equip in this game the more pets that you have equipped the better power multiplier you have and the better power multiplier you have the more damage you guys will end up doing to the enemies the more damage you do to the enemies more coins you can farm and with those coins you can spin for better pets maybe you could try to get the mythic maybe you can try to get the secret however if you guys are free to play I would probably say legendary and mythic up until yesterday i only had like a bunch of legendaries a bunch of epics now i have a full team of mythics and that's because f mine has been completing his index that little extra pet equip it does help out a lot now i can one shot all the enemies in the map so once again make sure you guys spin for pets if you're like free to play or even pay to win it could be the strong egg over here it could be the weak egg just go through every map except for the robux eggs and stuff and then get the commons the rares the epics and legendaries just like pet simulator x fill your index up because in a future update they might add more pet equip slots currently i believe there's only one that you can get but if you're free to play you can go from three pets to four pets that's like a 25% power increase if you think about it. Now, the one you guys have been waiting for is the free auto clicker. There is free auto clicker in the game. You guys can actually see it in the update log here. It's at the very bottom. It says hint slow auto swing in demon hill auto swing is auto clicker this right here this is just like an example of how fast it is it's pretty op you guys can also combine it uh with like a tiny task like if you have your own auto clicker they don't stack together but you can combine it if you want but yeah this will prevent you guys from disconnecting in the game i bet you guys also did not know that if you just turn on auto swing after 20 minutes on roblox even if you don't click anything on the screen your game it'll auto rejoin you in a server so you will never disconnect same thing with slow auto swing if you just afk here for 20 minutes you don't touch the screen even if you're on mobile you will not disconnect so it's pretty op how do you get the free auto clicker it's like it says here in the update log slow auto swing in demon hill so go to the demon hill map that's going to be map number three once you guys get to map number three go all the way towards the back of the map and then head up to the very top of the hill so we're just going to make our way there right now all right guys we're still traveling up here once you guys get to the very top of the hill in map number three demon hill go to the right side you're going to see a guy his name is soul teacher this npc here he will give you guys free auto swing and all you guys got to do is complete his quest what is this quest i believe you have to get 25 trillion power i think 25 trillion power or 25 million power either way it's not that much especially if you guys already made it to polar tundra you made it to aether city you made it to underworld so i highly recommend you do this quest once you guys make it maybe past i don't know aether city underworld polar tundra that way you can just auto complete it but once you complete it you will get free auto swing unfortunately in the game as of this update you cannot combine both of them maybe in a future update you can combine the game pass auto swing and the slow auto swing that's the comparison right there on how fast they are auto swing definitely a little bit faster however slow auto swing is still pretty fast i would say auto swing is like double the speed but auto swing is like just normal clicking speed and stuff so it's pretty good to get if you're free to play you definitely gotta get it guys once again it's gonna be in map number three demon hill towards the top and the back next secret that f minus is going to talk about are the free damage multipliers in the game this one's kind of like an end game kind of thing towards the end. It's in map number one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you guys want free damage multiplier, it's a permanent one. All you got to do is some quests. And it's not the quest giver at the very like front, banished one. There's actually another secret quest giver on this map. Once again, it's in the underworld map. So I guess it's for late game players. 
all you gotta do though is jump on these rocks and then go to like the second platform here towards the back of the map you guys will find an npc towards this tree called the executioner if you guys talk to him you guys can complete some of his quests there's 10 of them and then every single quest that you guys complete he will give you i believe a 10 like 15 percent damage boost or something like that i'm not sure if it's added 500 kills the next quest is like 3,000 kills Obviously, that's not the exact numbers, but you can see it there right now. My quest is 3,333 like kills. And you probably like, you're probably watching this on mobile. You're like, oh my god, that's so hard, F minus. That's why I said earlier, you get the free slow auto click. You AFK on one of these enemies that you can one shot, and then come back after school. Bro, you'll complete the quest, guys. So you guys should definitely do this. More damage multiplier you get in the game, the harder you guys will hit, the farther you're going to make it in time trial. You're going to get better relics. You're going to progress faster in the game. Look at this. My best relic, Soft Candle. Is it the absolute best relic? No, there's still like the apple. There's the goggles. There's like the feather quill pen that Neil's TV has. There's like a mysterious fragment. But if you're free to play, these are great choices right here. Some of them are really easy, especially the first two quests. And then after that, it gets a little difficult. 3,000 kills is kind of a lot but you definitely need that damage multiplier to kill some of the harder enemies in the game especially on that last map enchanted woods and there should be another update coming soon for sword fighters so make sure you guys get started on the executioner quest you can find them once again in the underworld map next secret that i want to talk to you guys about it's not exactly a secret but if you guys go to i believe the demon hill map it's the third map in the game and i talked about it earlier you guys can get double enchants on your weapons and it's completely random so this right here this has double enchants huge one and mighty two passive however this kiss of death here only has one enchant so if you guys are currently watching, highly recommend you guys try to get double enchants on your weapon. It's completely random. I don't know the percent chance of getting it, but I would estimate maybe 10 to 20% chance of getting a double enchant passive. It's definitely not 100% because whenever I spin, it doesn't give me a double enchant. Here's a good example. I'm going to do a shard reroll and check it out. We actually got a double enchant. Dang, look at that. Critical one. Okay, 10% more critical chance. And this one's a power one. Mighty two. Damn, that's OP. There you go. You guys go so if you guys want to hit like end game you want to be stronger than all your friends or you just want to progress faster you're brand new to the game get double enchants on your weapon it might take a couple of tries to get double enchants by the way i can spin this one and then okay we got another double enchant that's actually really rare i'm telling you guys we're probably getting lucky on the video but if i did this off screen you guys would know as well it's not 100 percent of the time i'll try another one fallen blade we're gonna shard reroll this and look at that we're only getting one passive it's completely random if you guys will get double enchants or not so keep spinning until you get double enchants and then just pray that <laughs> when i say pray you really gotta pray guys that you get something good i'm gonna shard reroll this yes we got double enchant come on please 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 no i got movement speed oh my gosh that's so bad and then i got rich one so if you get something like this speedy one and rich one you definitely want to re-roll it damn but if you end up getting like a god passive or something just end up keeping it that's okay 20 percent critical chance i'm not sure if that's good or not but i'll probably do a different video on enchantments i just wanted to show you guys always try to get double enchantments on your weapons and then pray that they're two good ones like this gives me sword damage and then this one gives you power so technically this is like a double positive and it's like 4 QA power is it the best it's not the best but you got to keep in mind I just started playing this game so I think it's pretty good for F minus and you guys can get good as well that can give you a free extra pet equip free extra sword damage and then free extra swing speed so this dungeon master if you guys go to dungeon mode just like anime fighters go on the right side if you accept all of his quests and you end up completing them he will give you a free pet equip like I said faster permanent swing speed so if you guys have slow auto clear on or whatever and then you just like left tap with your mouse or if you left tap with your mouse you guys can swing a little bit faster and then also you can get more damage sword damage there's also another reward i don't know if it was power or coins or something but all you have to do is complete rooms 12 room 24 room 36 and then room 50. room 50 will get you the free pet equip so let's say you did the free pet equip in the index. You're free to play. Well, you have four. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to have five. So you have one, two, three. And you start out and then the pet index and then the quest will give you five. Imagine that, guys. Five pet equips as a free to play just because you did all the quests. 
so make sure you complete the Dungeon Master's quests. They're actually pretty easy. Neil's TV streams like like free carries every week or whatever. You guys can join a stream or you can join my game if you want. I can get you guys to room 50 now. It's not room 54. It's not room 58. I'm still trying my best. Just give me a little bit more time. But you can find my Roblox profile in the description of this video. Make sure you guys do those quests. I'm telling you guys, if you want to like power level in this game, especially if you make it past room 50 or whatever, you can get better relics. That'll give you more damage to kill enemies faster or better power relics relics so that you can keep on ascending the next secret i want to talk about in the game and secret with quotes i mean at least a couple of these are secrets but then some of them i mean they're not really secrets at least maybe it's information you don't know but the next one i want to talk about are all of the relics in the game shout out to the official sword fighters discord server you guys can see every single relic in the game the only ones i'm going to talk about is room 40 to 50 and room 54 to 58 so you guys can actually see here here. shout out to everybody that created this it's like a pdf um oh it's not a pdf it's like a spreadsheet but you guys can see in room 40 to 50 of dungeon mode you guys will get those relics on the left side and then room 54 to 58 you can get that quang scroll 700 power i showed you guys earlier in my inventory of sword fighter simulator i actually have it right here 700 power so this little uh spreadsheet that they created it's like really accurate the ones you guys want to try to focus on damage if you want to try to kill enemies power if you guys are trying to ascend get more power for more damage and then you want to try to go for i guess i think there's like coins if you want to farm coins but coins is not really too important but i guess the best relic you can currently get in the game is on room 58 and i think Niels tv has this one i don't know if you see my mouse cursor but it's called the magic quill it's at the bottom like the bottom right 100 crit chance 1300 power best best guys 1300 power so if you're trying to ascend you're trying to get like the next rank rebirth oh my gosh it's so good and if you guys are trying to do like more damage or something like that i'm sure there's a really good one somewhere here that you guys can find you can pause the video right now or you guys can go on the official discord server and you can try to look for something that gives better damage but it looks like the book of dark arts gives 600 percent damage and based on like this like list that I'm looking at, I'm not sure if there's anything better than 600% damage. But if you guys see it on the screen, let me know. You can pause it right now. There's also goggles on the left side. Keep in mind, the left side is going to be room 40 to 50. And then room 54 to 58, if you have like a pro carrying you, you can get the Book of Dark Arts, Golden Skull, the Cursed Apple, Mysterious. You guys can go ahead and take a look at these relics. So that you guys know what you want to try to farm for. What you want to try to aim for. Okay guys, you ready for this? The last secret that F- is going to talk about in the game. And this one's actually a secret. Are the Lost Soul Enemies and the Hidden Cave Enchanted Woods map. So if you guys ever make it to the end game on update 3. Update 4 that might add more secrets and stuff like that. You guys can actually find like harder enemies to kill than all of these ones currently on the map. Because you have like the Cyclops over over here i can one shot him no problem at all all these cyclops is pretty easy for like myself and i only have i equip it look at this i just one shot the freaking dragon and i got an arterite wing blade and then all these enemies up here the arterite warden this is like the end game boss technically the end game boss that you guys will find on the enchanted woods map but what happens when you guys one shot these enemies what happens if you want to try to get better weapons you guys know there's an index for pets but I don't know if you guys know, there is an index also for weapons. If you guys scroll all the way down to the very bottom, after the Warden, there's actually a stronger enemy called the Lost Soul. So the Warden, he can drop a secret weapon. He can also drop the Mythic weapon, another Legendary and stuff like that. But there's also another Lost Soul that drops a secret weapon, the Kiss of Death, the Fruity Staff. These are actually all OP. Where do you find the Lost Soul enemy? So if you guys are on the last map of the game, this is for endgame players. Just go towards the very, very back of the map. There is a bush and a rock in the corner. So if you guys see on the right side, there's like a, like a little temple over here. That's how you guys know you're in the right place. You just go inside of the bush. Keep pushing forward and you're going to find a hidden cave. When you're in the hidden cave, you don't have to do anything. Just start killing all of the enemies that you guys see. And once again, that's going to be a lost soul enemy here. As you guys can see, I've killed him a couple of times. I haven't really killed him more than four times if you look at the right side. But he does drop a secret weapon. 
And you guys can also kill the Warden for a secret weapon, but I believe the chance is way lower. Keep in mind though, all the Lost Soul enemies inside of this cave. If you go in here and you don't find any enemies, it's because it's daytime. Only time you're going to see enemies on this, like, this cave here is when it's nighttime. So you have to wait until it's nighttime, go inside the cave, kill the enemies. Just keep in mind, they're really, really tough to kill. Even F- minus has a really tough time killing them. I've only killed four. Every single time it's like nighttime, I can only kill one one that's how tough they are so if you go inside once again you're gonna find those lost soul enemies they look like little skeletons they're a little hard to see they're like see-through or whatever but once you're inside of here just go ahead and like you know whip them up a little bit pray that you guys when you kill them you're gonna get this secret weapon here i'm not sure what it is i just started playing this game you know like a couple of days ago but if you guys end up getting this oh my gosh you guys will scale you guys will be so powerful, especially for the next updates in Sword Fighters Simulator. We can actually try to attempt to kill some of these lost souls. I do have to wait a little bit though until it turns nighttime. Let's go wait till it's nighttime. Let's go inside the cave over here and I'll show you guys what they look like. And then if you kill them, what you guys can get. Okay guys, we are actually in luck right now. It's nighttime, as you guys can see at the sky, whenever it turns dark. So we're gonna go back in the bush over here towards the back of the map. There are the lost souls. They look like ghosts. So we're just gonna start attacking him. I don't know if we can kill him because I don't know when it turned night. Because whenever it turns daylight, all the enemies disappear. I'm gonna use a 2x damage boost right now though. Damn, we can actually kill them pretty fast. Oh, I am impressed. So I don't know if I made a mistake earlier saying these guys have more HP than the Wardens. But if I did, um, I, I take it back. Because these guys are actually pretty easy to kill. Dang, we got a Divine Ardite Wing Blade. Wow, I don't know what that is. But it has 420 trillion power. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to select everything in our inventory. I'm going to sell it. And then everything that we get, let's just go ahead and check it out in our inventory. Um, I want to see what the percent chance is of getting that secret weapon. You guys see here at the very top, we got a fair sword. Dang, unfortunately. If you guys could one-shot these enemies though, oh my gosh, you would be golden in getting that secret weapon. Keep in mind, once again, the warden does drop the secret weapon. Or the secret weapon. So if you guys don't want to wait till nighttime, because nighttime is only lasts for like five minutes, just kill the warden. Now I think the chance is getting like of getting the secret weapon is way lower. But look at this. We're absolutely mauling it. I've never killed these many lost souls this fast. I've been farming a little bit of power, but look at this. I only have 82 UD power. Most pros and endgame players in the game that are stronger than F minus, they have way more power than me. They have like 1000 UD. They have like 10,000 UD, 100,000 UD, because I don't even know what's after UD. There it is. We got another Ardite wing blade let's just keep killing these enemies they also spawn on the very bottom and stuff but yeah this is the technique that you guys want to use if you don't have two weapons or dual wield definitely use a legendary weapon don't even go inside of this cave unless you guys are like really powerful because you won't be able to kill the enemies and i know you got to kill these enemies to kill like like complete the quest and stuff for this map but i'm just letting you guys know like it's pretty damn tough uh, these lost souls, I mean, I do decent damage, but yesterday, it literally took me like 5 or 10 minutes to kill this guy. Now it only takes me about 30 seconds, which is nice. I am using, once, a, once again, like a double damage boost though. And I don't even think you can buy double damage boost. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's really tough, guys. You probably gotta go in time trial. I don't know if they sell it there. Here's the next lost soul. Can we get the secret weapon? Oh, we got an Ardite Wing Blade. Dang. This is how tough it is, guys, for us to farm. Now, we can complete the quest. It's 10 out of 15 lost souls on the right side of the screen. If I complete this quest, this entire quest line in the Enchanted Woods map, I think we can get 10% extra power boost. So, I'm gonna keep on praying, guys. Because that damage boost that we have without it, oh my gosh, we're so weak. We got another Ardite Wing Blade. These are all the weapons that we got from these enemies. Uh, best one, I guess, is 420 trillion power. It's a divine one, though. We still have the Kisses of Death. These are way more powerful. Look at that. 3.13 QA, 4 QA. Very, very strong. We're going for that secret weapon, though. Because if not, I'm, I'm just going to have to kill the Wardens, guys. And then we're just going to settle for that. Because nighttime is coming soon. 
and I can still get the mythical. These lost souls, they don't drop a mythical, guys. I feel like the mythical would be OP, but I feel like this secret weapon would be better than the warden's secret weapon. I just don't know. We're gonna have to keep on killing these dudes to test it out. I only gotta kill three more to complete the quest. Oh man, come on, please. Big money right here, guys. Pray for F minus. Oh, we got a fair sword. Just based on the percentages. Oh, I think that's it. They all despawned. Dang, we still needed to kill one more. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If I missed any secrets in the game, guys, please let me know in the comments. Also, make sure, guys, you like the video at 1000 likes you guys can get a free game pass i guess with that said the code for the video is going to be soul so you guys see on the right side we're killing lost souls in this map like as well that is the code for the video now keep in mind the code is only valid if the video gets like enough views because i can't give you guys 10,000 robux which is what i usually do anyways if the video only gets like 5k views 4k views so make sure you help f minus out really do a appreciate your guys' support and until next time guys I'll see you in the next video